Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you or I'm gonna introduce you to our newly released add on that's speakers and schedules. So, this add on got released alongside with our virtual add on, and we have been talking about our virtual add on quite a lot in this channel. And today, it's time we give some importance to the speaker and schedule add on because it's really great and really you can achieve a lot of things with it alongside uh, with Expo. But, uh, to like uh, get started with speaker and schedule you can always visit our uh, official website at wp-eventmanager.com and over there you will be able to see the sales page uh, where you can find the pricing informations uh, you can find the feature of it uh, uh, the documentation link and all uh, i'm gonna go through the page once and i'm gonna like explain it to you what the speaker and schedule add-on does and what are the highlighted points are so basically what speaker and schedule uh, add-on allows us to do let's say if you have an online or an offline event on your website and you want to show uh, who uh, or uh, where your speakers are gonna appear on that event or what is the schedule for that uh, event itself right so basically in physical events we should we, we sometimes have schedules uh, where uh, some keynote speaker will appear and give their presentations uh, same way in our virtual add-on uh, or the in the expo add-on we have schedules which uh, accompany the expo add-on in order to present sessions where your speakers can give their presentation as well so basically a uh, replicated scenario in both ways offline and online so that's the main functionality of our speaker and schedule add-on basically it lets you uh like present your event in a more dynamic way if it's an offline one along with speaker and sessions or like schedules in the event itself and if you have already expo add-on it will let you create virtual sessions as well and your speakers will be able to uh like join those sessions and uh, give their presentation or speech in the virtual add-on itself and it handles all the speaker management uh, for itself uh, solely so the speaker management or adding process is handled by the speaker add-on itself when you have installed it uh, enough like overview let's uh, take a look at the keynote or like key features over here we have uh, first of all let's go through the pricing options available uh, it's 99 dollar per, per person or like it per one site and if you are going for a developer bundle then it's 199 there is some bundle deals available alongside with Expo as well. If you would like that, uh, do check out our official website. So let's take a look at the featured uh, highlights over here. Uh, multiple session and breakout rooms. So basically what that means, you can like create as many sessions as you want per event. There's no limitations at all. So host live, pre-recorded and hybrid sessions. So this is... Uh, uh, related to the virtual add-on itself so it it will let you host like live sessions pre-recorded sessions that's upcoming and hybrid sessions as well so this this feature over here might not make much sense uh in like plain sight but when we explore the feature of it uh we're gonna definitely take a look into it all right then we have smooth web artist streaming so basically our expo add-on or virtual add-on alongside with our uh, speaker and schedule add-on they facilitate the web artist technology in order to live stream uh, your sessions towards your audience um, so this like allows us to do high quality audio video calls presentations screen sharing and a lot of things and uh, we were able to do that uh, smoothly as well so when we take a look uh, you will be able to see like how uh, flawlessly it works obviously but uh, that's a topic for another day uh, below there you will find the documentation link of course uh, which will take you to the uh, knowledge base where you can find every details about the uh, speaker and schedule add-on and then we have adding speakers at front end so this is the speaker management section what i was talking about so it's pretty simple uh it works with wordpress core management as well uh what it does is basically uh you can enter your speaker's email address you can verify it and then you can add your speaker details as per your requirement so let's say if organizer one on your wordpress website adds a speaker it's stays contained within uh, that organizer so let's say if i add an organizer named uh, person one 
another organizer in the website won't be able to see person one they will have to add person one as their speaker later on if they want to use it uh, this allows us like containment and and this allows us for like a better management or better pri privacy in the WordPress website itself. Uh, we will talk about it in more uh, like in our upcoming video when we explore it. But yes, uh, this might sound a little confusing. But uh, what it does is basically is uh, when you are adding speakers as an organizer, it lets you create your own speakers. So whatever speaker or whoever you add on your website as a speaker other persons cannot see it like they cannot reuse it but yes they will be visible throughout the event details page and your expo area as well if you have added them into any session then we have speaker dashboard so this is the speaker dashboard uh, we have in the front end and it's integrated within the event dashboard itself uh, where you can see your added speakers their name their image um, actions so basically those are edit or delete then we have uh, schedule sessions at the front end. So obviously you can manage your sessions in the uh, front end or in the event dashboard itself as well, as well from it as from the expo. But uh, we have already covered the expo part. So I'm going to stick to the uh, front end area or the event dashboard itself. And I'm going to show you like how you can facilitate that feature uh, in the event dashboard itself in upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. Then we have a schedule session dashboard at front end. Uh, over there, you will be able to see an interactive uh, real time updated schedule dashboard, uh, which will work flawlessly with our event, existing event dashboard, where you will be able to add your sessions, edit them, delete them, filter them in just real time. Okay, this just works like really amazingly and I'm gonna like show you later on uh, when we take a look at it uh, I think you will like it. and then we have like speaker schedule So this is a representation of the uh, single event details page where the speaker schedules shows up and this is a representation of how it looks obviously we're gonna take a look at it in the uh, demonstration as well when we do that so basically uh, these schedules for your event, the, let it be virtual or let it be a hybrid or let it be a offline event, they will appear on your single event details page as well. And if you have virtual, obviously they will appear on your virtual session page. Okay. And not only that, your uh, speakers, uh, their uh, avatar, their name, uh, their role, uh, all of that, their designations will appear on the uh, event details page or in the expo itself alongside with the uh, schedules, of course. So these two feature over here just to represent that, like how it looks like it uh, in the single event details page. Uh, you will be able to find how it looks like in the expo's uh, landing page over here in the virtual add-ons landing page or if you would consult our uh, previous video about sessions in expo we have a live demonstration over there about how it looks anyway uh, let's move on to the next one speaker dashboard at admin side obviously it's a wordpress website and admins should have access to all the speakers so over there you will be able to see all the speakers added by all the different organizers out there from the front end side and obviously you can manage them like view them delete them edit them and all that good stuff then we have add speakers at admin side uh, we have ability to add uh, speakers from the admin side itself and uh, adding speaker category so you can from the back end side on and only from the back end side you can create your speaker categories as well so there after that we have speaker field editor so this is a feature that makes our speaker uh, and schedule add-on uh, like much versatile than it is you can like populate your speakers form with any kind of data you like just like our event uh, field editor where you can customize the event form to your liking uh, speaker field editor will give you the same functionality uh, when you are working with our speaker field editor so let's say if you don't like the designation or position field that we have by default you can remove it and you can add it with uh, something else like location or country or let's say what their uh, expertise are uh, such as like every anything that you would like to show on the website or like to ask for in the speaker submission form you can define that via speaker field editor so we're going to take a look at that as well in our next upcoming video 
But I think that's pretty much it for this speaker and shit to add on. Uh, before finishing this, I'm gonna just like to say this. Uh, if you are trying to uh, create like a immersive event uh, management or like event listing website, and if you would like to uh like go with the virtual route as well speaker and schedule is like a must have add-on that makes your events like more versatile more dynamic towards uh your audience so they will be able to know when your uh, event schedules are when the keynote speakers are speaking at what time or uh, what date and if you have virtual add-on then even it's more good because over there the session will get uh converted into live or hybrid or pre-recorded ones so that's pretty much it and I think that concludes this video. If this video been a little bit confusing, do not worry. We will have like a feature overview in our uh, next upcoming videos where we will take a look at the features in a demo website in real time. So until next time, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.